This video is made possible by EA Game Changers. Thanks EA. Hi guys, my name is Gwyneth Gemskull and welcome to a look at the new type of quest in The Sims Free Play. This is the Sim Chase quest. This is season one. This is all new and very exciting. This is Mother's Day Madness. It will be released into the game with the Poolside Paradise update that will go live on the 30th of April 2019 and this Mother's Day Madness is a seven day event that will also start on the 30th of April when the Poolside Paradise update goes live. Let's take a look at this pop-up. It says Sim Chase Season 1 Mother's Day Madness. Sim Chase, the ultimate rival racing reality TV show is shooting now in Simtown. Race against a rival to complete crazy challenges. First to complete their episode challenges wins awesome checkpoint prizes. Don't give your rival a head start. Go to the nightclub now. As it is explained, it is a sim chase. It's a TV game show styled event where over the course of seven days, your sim is tasked with completing a set of daily challenges to reach a checkpoint and win a checkpoint prize. Checkpoint prizes are awarded every day with a grand prize at the end of the event. The twist with the sim chase event is that your sim is going to be racing against a rival sim to reach the checkpoint first. So if your sim is beaten, your rival will collect the prize and you won't get it. So let's start the chase. This is exciting. I am very excited for this new event. First thing we need to do is check in at the nightclub. Shooting is starting on the new season of Sim Chase, Mother's Day Madness. No time to lose. Receive your chase instructions from your Sim Chase host, Cam Ham, at the nightclub. So it says beat your rival, let's have a look, beat your rival to the checkpoint to win chase tokens. Tokens can be used to spin for rival obstacles or sim bonuses in the roadworks tab. Now beat your rival to the final checkpoint to win the grand prize, the breakfast and bubbles pack. Oh my goodness, this could get competitive. Let's head out to the nightclub. Everyone has now got the nightclub built. It was gifted to anyone who didn't have it in the previous update. So head out to your Simtown map and go to the nightclub. Let's click on this guy and Sim Chase check-in is five seconds. Task completed. Go to Sim Chase menu. Let the chase begin. Tap the blue button to open the Sim Chase menu. Your Sim and their rival's progress is tracked on the chase bar. Complete all episode challenges to win checkpoint prizes. The first prize is a chase token. Chase tokens can be used to spin for rival obstacles or some bonuses in the Roadworks tab. So we've been hearing a little bit about this Roadworks tab, haven't we? We will make sure we check it out so you are clear on what that is. But for now, let's click on the blue tab there that is pointing us towards. And here we go, Sim Chase Season 1. Wow, so you can scroll along. You can see we've got all of the different episode prizes here along the top and there's the grand prize so episode one which will be day one and these are all the things that you have to do my goodness there is a lot that is task completed on the sim chase menu now to start a sim chase challenge you do not have a sim chase challenge in progress and your rival ain't going to wait for you view your available episode challenges in the sim chase menu the challenge is complete, not out of seven. So if we go back in, where we just seen, we have got the seven challenges for episode one. So we should really get started, shouldn't we? Sim Chase Rule Refresher. Have your Sim read the Sim Chase rule book from a bookshelf. So we need to we need to get going. Let's head home. So I'm at home now and need to do something on a bookshelf. So let's click on a bookshelf and you can see there the instead of like the fun icon that we would normally have this sim chase rules has the blue sim chase kind of icon so we click on that to start that for two hours and if you want to speed any of these things up that does take sp and not lp one challenge down sim chaser time to check the chase progress in the sim chase menu the rival displays a grey bar that indicates how much progress they will make when they complete their current challenge. If they beat you to the checkpoint, they claim the prize. Pick your next challenge and let the chase continue. So you can see my guy here underneath the purple. 
my progress is slightly further on than my rivals and the checkpoint the episode one that's highlighted there that's where we need to get to so we need to keep going and we need to continue down see what else we need to do now we have completed the first six tasks of episode one the last thing that we need to do is to check in with sim chase host over at the nightclub so the basic goal of this is to complete all of the tasks as quickly as you can to win the prize for that episode there is one episode each day Checking in with the host takes five seconds and once that is completed, the episode will be complete and if you reached the checkpoint first, you will win that particular prize. Episode prize one. Your sim checked in first and has won a chase token. Go to the roadworks tab in the sim chase UI and spend it to spin for rival obstacles or sim bonuses. So we're now done so we can move on to episode two now when you are playing this episode two will be on the second day each episode starts on a second day for me i'm able to continue them straight ahead as i've got the preview build the tasks for this can only be done one at a time so you can't start all of the tasks simultaneously to speed it up although when you do have a task such as organize four sims to find clues you can use extra sims to complete those so you can get four sims doing that at any one time or in episode one where we've had the making three cappuccinos you can get three sims making three cappuccinos at one time I'm going to show you all the tasks for all the episodes. I'm not going to go through each individual one. I'm just going to flash them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check out them in more detail if you would like to. You can see the task with the timing next to it for episode two there. And we'll keep going through all of the episodes. You can skip an individual task with SP if you would like. There you go. We've, you can see there we have completed episode two and won the prize here are the tasks for episode three you can see down at the bottom as well you can also skip the entire episode if you would like by skipping the entire episode that will just take your sim all the way along to the end as you can see there and hopefully you've got there first and you will win the prize so the prizes so the prizes are either a spin on the roadblock spinner or there are a decorative item for in the game so here's episode four's tasks. Prize one, we got there first. Here are the tasks to complete for episode five and the prizes that we win for this is the relaxing revelation chairs and also a shag silver rug. Episode six tasks here. Obviously after each one, you need to go ahead and speak to the host over at the nightclub. For five seconds we do have this info tab which gives us more information on what prizes you can get from the roadwork spin so you can check that out to see what you can win and what exactly it does offer you and then the last one episode seven there are the tasks for that so seven episodes over seven days is how it will work and then once you've completed episode seven hopefully you're the first to get there and you will win the grand prize if you're not the first to get there unfortunately you won't win that you have completed sim chase season one you get this pop up you are the winner after innumerable outrageous ordeals your sim has beaten queenie b to the final checkpoint and won the grand prize the breakfast and bubbles pack find the items in the home store and outfits in the wardrobe of any female adult female sim stay tuned for cam ham and the new rival in next season of sim chase coming soon so we are going to get more sim chases in the future but we should go ahead and go and check out the prizes so first of all, I'm in adult female sims wardrobe. Let's check out the new outfit that we won. Ooh, that's a very nice dress. We get it in four different colors. We get the white with brown belt, it's kind of dusty pink color, black and white kind of checkered, and a black one. That's a nice dress. Then in terms of the items that we won, we got a white makeup mirror let's place all of the items down and then we can see how much they cost first one of all of the prizes free so let's just let's just place them all down so here are all of the items that we've won i have placed them all down before we take a look at them let's just take a look so you can see prices wow 
I think it's a bit of a bit of contention along, among a lot of Sims 3 players at the moment how much things have started to cost within the game and it doesn't look like they have changed anything here particularly you can see once you've placed your first one down of everything everything is pretty expensive oh I haven't placed one of those baths down everything is pretty expensive to place another one let's check out the prizes you can see we have the makeup mirror there doesn't look like it can be interacted with but very nice and this little day spa basket again can't be interacted with everyone has come to sit on these chairs these chairs are really nice they are just yeah they're just like normal chairs and have a little sit down on but they're really pretty look at them they've got like a little blanket thrown over them the baths I love the baths what show in a bath oh we can watch a show in a bath now oh my goodness look it's got like a little ipad or a little tablet there maybe it's not an ipad <laughs> maybe it's just a tablet but uh wow let's see this oh she's old oh look at her she pulls the table oh wow that's fantastic i love it that bath comes in four different colors that's amazing let's check out i've just been trying to mess around with this breakfast tray and try and place it on a bed it's not possible to place it on a bed but i think that if you click on it wait for breakfast in bed five minutes do yes look she goes she's gone to bed to wait for it and does somebody have to then oh yes and then if you click on it with someone else a quick breakfast in bed or treat to lazy breakfast in bed somebody coming in yes yeah, someone's coming in to collect the tray and he's gonna walk out and give it to her in bed oh wow look at that that's fantastic oh, I love it I was really disappointed as I was placing the breakfast tray down I was like oh it looks in the pictures if you can sit and eat breakfast in bed but you can't actually do that but it turns out that you can that's amazing. I love it. I love it. I love the whole idea of having a new type of quest event in the game. Let me know what you think about this sim chase idea. I think it will potentially be met with mixed reviews. And I think that I may, depending on if I win the prize, will be how I, how I then view the sim chase quest, I think. But we will see. Let me know your initial thoughts on it. And good luck for when you do start it. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you soon. Bye.